Okay, so I asked everyone which pop and cooking kit they'd like me to make next, and it was unanimous, this one won. Ta da! Aren't you surprised? Actually, you're not, because it's in the title. Let's get started, I'm so excited. Let's hope that this one's easier than the pizza one it'd wanna be. These are the instructions I'll be following very closely because I just love instructions so much. Let's open it up and have a look at the horror that lies inside, or as some people might say, the magic. Hamburger sheet, What? why? And once again, I can see that I've gotta cut out things and make my own packaging, which I'm so looking forward to. Can't be that tricky. Let's have a look at the contents inside. Oh my gosh. All right, that doesn't look too bad. Oh, I've got a spoon and a knife this time. I feel like I'm gonna do some damage with that. <laughs> that was so scary. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> look at all the sachets of powder. Magic poisonous powder. A lot of people were concerned last time and said, oh look, you're very brave, I, I wouldn't want to eat that because you don't know what's in it. Here are the ingredients here. Is that a warning sign? Maybe that's the contents. I can't read Japanese. I don't know, I wonder which one's the ingredients. So what does it say in Japanese? Three kinds of poison. You have to admire the science of all of this, don't you? So happy days, that's all the contents there. I'm pointing it out with a box and covering it up at the same time. See, there it is. Can you see it? Can you see it? Okay, so you cut this thing up. That can't be that hard, can it? No. Have I got to separate those? No, I don't think so. There's my little measuring cup. I'm really looking forward to using that many, many times. All right, mm -hmm. this is going well, isn't it? Let's shove that aside for a second. Get out, get out of the shot, get out. Oh. Everyone can still see you. Get out. Here's all my packaging stuff here that I have to make. I'm gonna get this over and done with because this is like the boring part. Everyone else is saying it's all boring, Tam. It's your video, I'm so bored. Following the instructions. To a T, be impressed. I don't know if I have to keep this bit, but it did recommend to cut around there. Personally, I don't see the point of that. Oh, oh, hello, instructions, read them. So that is a label for the cup, and this is a little french fries packet, and oh, are you kidding me, I've gotta make a flag? Actually, I've gotta make two flags. That's above and beyond the call of duty, if you ask me. So easy to cut it, I mean in half, not along the line. Making this makes me feel like I've got ginormous monster hands. Well, that was stressful. Seriously, my hands are shaking. I'm all nervous. I'm a little bit sweaty. It's totally worth it. All right, so that's all my bits and pieces I've cut out. What a master I am. Check out how good that is, please. Can we have a moment of silence for this? Yeah, it's good. Moving on, and I'm gonna make the flags. Hang on a second, something is not right here. I didn't get toothpicks in here. Oh, seriously, there is no, there are no toothpicks here. I've gotta provide my own toothpicks, obviously. Well, far out, I didn't think this through. How barbaric that you've got to provide your own toothpicks. Better be some toothpicks in the cupboard. It's all right, everyone. I've got toothpicks in the cupboard, luckily. So I'll get a couple of these out of here. What if these toothpicks aren't the right size? Are toothpicks a universal size? Are they all the same size around the world? What if ones in Australia are huge, like our spiders? No, actually, I reckon that looks about the right size. It's okay, everyone, don't panic. Okay, so I've got some sticky tape. I think in America you call it sellotape. We call it sticky tape because it's tape and it's sticky. <laughs> Doesn't that blow your mind? Oh no, don't go on crooked. Oh, it's gone on back to front. I can't even use sticky tape today. Oh, this is perfect, isn't it? Let's not touch it too long, it'll fall apart. 
I'm just making the second flat. You know what? I'm not even going to record this bit because you've seen me make one flat. Do you need to see me make two? No. Decided that I thought I might be ripping you off if you didn't see me make the second flag. You might think I've cheated somehow and got an expert in to make this flag because I know it's going to turn out so well. Oh, beautiful. Oh, there you go. Check this out. Wee! Look at this, look at this, look what I did. Flags. All right, drink, cup, thing, on you get. <laughs> I'm making the packaging first because this is what I consider the boring part. Everyone's going, Tam, no, you're wrong. It's all boring, okay? It's all boring. Do you want to see something ridiculous? I pre-cut out bits of sticky tape to make my life easier and then I leant against the counter and they've all gone underneath there. So now I'm having trouble peeling them off from the bench. That could only happen to me. Perfect. How do I make this thing again? By the instructions. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so hard. Oh, I'm looking at it upside down. I don't think it makes a difference at this stage of the game. That's what their one looks like and I'm aiming to make mine look the same. The same. So you bend that over like that and you sticky tape the back. Look at me talking like I know what I'm doing. But try not to sticky tape your finger to oh, the packaging. Okay, good. Well done. Fold that like so. Oh la -di da look at me go. And then just so simply put that on the back. Put it on the back and enjoy it. Oh yes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh yes, look at my packaging everyone. Look at that. Be impressed. And I haven't even started the pop and cooking bit. Mwah, here we go. Step number one. I have supposed to cut this. I didn't know. I'm making the french fries first and to this I add one cup of, oh no that's two, two cups of water. I've got to get my baby spoon. There it is there. <laughs> there it goes onto the ground. I've got everything ready to make my french fry part of it. Magic poisonous powder we add into this container and stir up. Excuse me while I just smell this because, oh that stinks. Now I add two cups of water. Oh, this baby cup is so freaking small. Oh, oh gosh. And stir this up. Oh, Jesus, powder going everywhere. I don't think I'm stirring this up in the right container. I don't know, maybe I am. There it is. I wish it'd get off the spoon. I can't believe how much this wants to stick to the spoon. It's so frustrating. Get off it. Now you've got to make sure you get all the powder in there and it's not an easy thing because it likes to hide in the corners. Just going to pick it up and squish it into the corners to gather the bits of powder that I missed. Now I'm just going to squish this down into here. You can see the french fry shape is on the bottom of this thing that I've just made. I'm going to put this aside because I want to eat this warm. Last time I ate this silly, one of these silly contraption things, it was cold and I think it made it just that much worse. And let's start with the hamburger. Is that what I'm up to? Let's make some meat. So on to the orange one next. I am making the meat part of this. It's, it's not the brown one. Forget about that everyone. Forget I even mentioned it. Making the orange one, which is the buns. I'm not making the meat, I've moved on. I'm over it. Two cups of water. So we just mix up, mix up some buns. Ooh, it's very sloppy. Is it, oh, powder's coming out. Is it supposed to be this sloppy? That does not look right. Oh, screw it. Have I got this wrong already? Two. I'm just gonna stir it for a while. Maybe it'll thicken up. It's not thickening up. In this container, that's where the buns go. Let's pour that in. Why is this not solid? <laughs> 
Sorry about the noise, I'm trying to do this evenly. I'm starting to get a little bit stressed. No one likes uneven buns. I've got too much time invested in this to go back. I don't know what I'm going back to, but you know what I mean, don't you? So there's my, there's my buns, and they're uneven. It's just like when you go into one of those big places like McDonald's or something, and it doesn't always look like the picture. Well, this is going to be like that. It's like I'm doing everyone a favor right now. It's like a life lesson. Hi everyone, this is me sitting on the floor of my kitchen, and I'm sitting here because I'm really upset right now. And the reason is because I didn't hit record, and you didn't get to see me make this. And I swear, it's turned out really well. I didn't cheat or anything, or how could I? But yeah, I made meat. Look at this, how good it is. And you didn't get to see me make it. I'm so upset. I thought, what should I do? Should I buy another pop and cook, 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 cook and kit? I don't want to. I don't want to buy another one and do this again. I really don't. That's the meat part, which is that thing there. I shoved the powder in and two cups of water and I made meat. I made meat, everyone. You didn't get to see me make meat. I know a lot of you said, you know what, Tam? I just watched this video just to watch you make meat. But let's continue on, all right? So next up, we're gonna make this piece of cheese here. That should be easy, shouldn't it? But you know what is hard? Hitting the record button. That's really hard. One cup of water for the cheese. Oh, well, you know, mixing it up a bit here. Where's that cup? There it is. Now what do I do? Stab it a couple of times. <clears throat> to make the cheese, I've got a little template here that I've got to follow and I've got to get it into this shape. This should be easy. Uh, maybe not. I'll put it around the right way. That might help you all. And I'll zoom in closer, hang on. Just squishing this to this shape. I can't have enough cheese here. It's not spreading out enough. You know what I need here? I need some sort of a cooking utensil to help me. Let's get a spoon. Bad cheese. Naughty. Bad, Bad cheese. Naughty. Oh, that's not doing anything. But it's making me feel better. Actually, it did do a little bit of something. So here's the cheese. I can't get it. I'm using a knife to point at things. I can't get it to go right into the corner. I can't seem to shape this properly. I don't know why. Does everyone else have this trouble with this one? I'm going to cut it to make it go to that shape and just get rid of the bits of excess cheese. I don't think I need those. Oh, look at this, it's like a stroke of brilliance, isn't it? Then I cut it in half with the little knife they've given me. Uh, I've decided to master chef this a little bit. I'm gonna put some sesame seeds on my little hamburgers. And be impressed. Ooh, how clever is that? So the bun, the meat, and the french fries all go in the microwave for 30 to 40 seconds. So let's do that now. Oh, I can't screw this part up, can I? It's really annoying because my microwave has like this mirror thing, so you can see everything. Actually, I don't know what you can really see, especially with me doing this in front of you. This is the part where I get really nervous. This is the has it worked part. 30 seconds seems like such a long time. Oh, what did I put on for? 30 or 40? I don't even remember. Oh, it smells like food. It's weird. Oh my gosh, I want to look. Oh gosh, all this steam's coming out. Is that right? Oh no. Oh, it's so hot. What to do? What to do? All this stressing for no reason. I reckon that's ready. Put it on for 34 seconds. Mm. Let's see if the french fries worked. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Now I cut them up. Oh, where's that knife they gave me? Oh, so I've got to cut along the lines, but I'm kind of failing at that. Ooh! We put those in the little french fry packet that we made. I uh, get in there. Oh, that actually looks like french fries, doesn't it? How exciting. Oh, feeling secretly impressed with myself. I hope this has worked. Uh-oh, we have an issue. Uh-oh, my buns are stuck. Oh, geez, there's one. Get out, get out, get out. 
Yes, oh, it's worked. You can see how even these are. Oh, it does feel like a little tiny bun. It's sort of squishy like a bun. Cut that in half. Oh, I think the sesame seeds are pretty good on it. Now this is my dodgy one. Now on the instructions, I'm supposed to cut this up so I get four pieces. Oh, how am I gonna do that? It's only really small. I'll stop your whinging and just do it. All right. And for some reason, I've gone back to using my real knife and not the little baby knife they gave me. So let's use this one. Actually, it's a pretty good knife for a little baby knife. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to construct this burger. Where's my cheese? There it is. Did I cut the cheese? Oh, did I cut the cheese? Cheese. Let's go. <laughs> oh, where do I put the tomato sauce? There's my tomato sauce. Oh, let's do this. I reckon the cheese is too big for it. I'm cutting it. Just a little bit, because I don't like the size of it. It's too, too big. I might regret this. Oh, the amount of times I've said that in my life. But anyway, there you go. Oh, awesome. Looks pretty chunky though. Maybe this one will look better because it's smaller. Shove these in there. Oh yes. Oh yes. So for the last step, you put water in here and then you put the powder in. And magically you get like a little baby soda. Okay, let's stir this with a knife. I oh, know I just cut the cheese with that. Oh well, screw it. Ooh. I'm gonna make this look really pretty now. I'm gonna put this here and then I'm gonna put my little burgers here. Oops, nearly fell apart. And the French fries. Now all I need is my drink. I actually think I did pretty well. I mean, you, you guys know what a screw up I am with things and I'm always dropping things, but I think they kind of look like hamburgers a little bit. So let's try these. And first the French fries. Once again, they have gone cold. They go cold really quickly. Oh. Yeah, it, it, it's funny. They don't taste as bad as I thought it was gonna taste. It does just taste like French fries. It's not sweet, it's just like a potato thing. Just like French fries that you've gotten out of the bin or something, you know? Not that I get French fries out of the bin. Oh geez, now everyone knows my secrets. So let's try the little mini burger. Pretty good looking. It does actually look like a little burger, doesn't it? And I'm actually really happy I put the sesame seeds on it now. I think it's a winner. Okay. It does just smell like a little cheeseburger. Wow. Oh, that is weird. You know, it has all the flavor that a hamburger has in it, in this little thing. I mean, the science of making these kits is just absolutely amazing. You have to admire it. Are you getting it for the taste of it? No, it's not the best tasting thing I've had in the world. It's not hideous though. It's not like vomit worthy or anything. It's just like eating cold fast food, if that makes sense. Because by the time you take to assemble it, it usually does go cold, but it's actually not too bad. So cheers, here's the little baby drink. Oh, and then I had that. I know this is supposed to be cola flavor, but it kind of tastes like that Bex powder or that headache powder that you can get. 
No, not great. I hope you enjoyed this popping cooking video. Sorry I screwed up the bit in the middle, but hey, it's me and it's my videos and that's what I do. I screw things up. Thanks for watching everyone. Please give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more and let me know in the comments below which popping cooking kit you'd like me to make next. Have a fantastic week. Bye. Thanks for watching everyone. I think I did okay with this kit. What do you reckon? Like out of 10, uh, you know, at least give me a two. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.